Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome, welcome. Today I'm going to bring you guys and walk you guys through how I created this trippy nail art look. This took me forever, y'all, and I kept changing my mind about the design. I kept doing a design and taking it off and like trying something else. But, you know, we got through it and I think it came out super cool. I love trippy looks like this. I love trippy like images and like psychedelic type things. Before we get started though, only 12% of y'all are subscribed to my channel. So go ahead and subscribe if you guys want to see more. Like, comment, share, turn on your notifications, all that good stuff. It really helps out my channel. I appreciate it so, so much. Um, and yeah, we'll get right into it. So I'm going in with Not Polished Black Diamond. Not Polish is one of the brands that I very first started out with and they're honestly one of my favorite brands. Their quality is really, really good. It's um, really up there, but the only thing is it is a little bit more pricier than other brands that I use, so that's the only thing to keep in mind, but they are definitely worth the investment, especially if you kind of are established. It's very beginner friendly, and you'll see as I work with the product, like even though it's a black, uh, um, there's really not any flooding, it's not staining me or anything like that, um, and it's super easy to work with. It gives you time to mold the product, and I would say it's like a medium setting time, so you have a little bit of time to work with the product as well. So I really found it easy to work with as a beginner too. And um, you know, you just wanna make sure that you're working on your ratio. And as I'm taking the bead down the nail, I'm making sure to keep it um, keep it on the tip, making sure to check the sidewalls. And I'm actually very, very gently using the tip of my brush to bring the product down. So I'm not like swiping it down with my whole body of my brush, because that'll just wipe the product off. But I'm using the very tip of my brush and very lightly like patting in a downward motion, if that makes any sense. And I'm using very light pressure to do this, making sure to constantly wipe my brush so acrylic isn't getting stuck in there making sure to keep it a little bit a little bit moist not too moist because it can make your product runny but making sure to keep it a little bit moist so it'll help work with the product well too and making sure to keep those sidewalls in check so again going in tapping it all over making sure it's covering the full nail tip and going in and just gently bringing it down and the reason you want to point your fingernail down is to let gravity work with you um, not against you okay so you want to keep your fingers pointed down whether it's you or a client so the product will naturally run down the fingertip itself but you just want to make sure you're checking your sidewalls making sure it's covering all of the areas making sure you're not missing any acrylic anywhere um, I think it's better to add too much than too little because if you add too much you can just file it away but if you add too little there's really nothing you can do especially towards the end of filing when you realize it so you just want to take your time with um, a nail application. Take your time, really make sure you are perfecting that, that part of doing your nails. And it'll help you in the long run because you'll have less filing to do, less work on your body, less physical aspects. You know, once you are doing nails, especially if you're taking clients, your neck and your back and your wrist can start to hurt a lot. So y'all need to make sure you're taking care of yourself work on your application I think that's the most important thing is to work on like your application and your powder to monomer ratio and everything else will come naturally afterwards and second would be shaping of course and then you know third will be designs and everything like that but definitely work on your application and your ratio your liquid to powder ratio first so yeah as you can see I'm just like gently very gently and I'm holding to get that gentle pressure like the same with a makeup brush you want to hold the brush at like the, the very end of the brush. The closer you hold it, the more firm the pressure is going to be. So you want to make sure you're holding it towards the end of the brush handle. Uh, same thing with a makeup brush. If you're using if you're using a makeup brush and trying to blend, you want to use very light pressure. So you're going to hold it at the end of the brush. Um, just going in, I'm, I'm just using a very thin layer of this application because I'm going to go in with clear to encapsulate it since it has glitter in it. I don't want it to get like ruined when I'm filing it. So I'm, afterwards, I'm going to go in with some clear application. And I did try to leave this application in real time so you guys can see. I mean, obviously, I cut out the parts where I'm picking up the bees and everything like that. But for the most part, I'm, I left the application in real time so you guys can see kind of what I'm doing and how, how I'm working slow. And I did try to keep this 
since it's black, I did try to keep this um, color away from my cuticles as much as possible. That way it didn't flood my cuticles or stain or anything like that. And if you're using a black or dark color like this, it's always good to put like either just a very thin layer actually of clear acrylic so it doesn't stain your nail or your client's natural nail because these do tend to stain if they get on your skin or your nails so you want to be very careful with that and that's another reason I'm taking my time with this application as well is because I don't want it to stain or anything like that so I'm just going in very gently patting it down just trying to like barely touch the acrylic just barely touch it and work it down and as it sets a little bit more on the nail as it sets a little bit longer and gets a little bit more solid then I can start brushing it down because it won't completely take off the product it'll just like brush it down um, so there's the application now I just need to build structure and a little bit of thickness so I'm going in with my Mia secret clear um, this is just one of I feel like a lot of clears are very similar and this one is just one of the most affordable ones to me so if you guys haven't tried it go ahead and check it out it's like $17 for four ounces so I feel like that's a major deal right there um, clear it has been a little bit tricky for me I feel that clear is the one that gets stuck in my brush the most at the end of the day so you know if you're using clear to encapsulate you want to just make sure you're continuously wiping your brush and of course after every set you want to make sure you're cleaning your brush and I like to clean my brush by soaking it in monomer and acetone a little mix like 50-50 and just gently gently let it you know leave it there for like 10-15 minutes take it out gently brush out any of the stuck acrylic put it in for another 10-15 minutes if there's still acrylic in and just you know so on and so forth you just want to make sure you're being very gentle with the bristles because they're sensitive and they can get messed up really quickly so yeah just make sure you're taking care of your brush and I would say clean it after every client or after after every use that way it doesn't get like super super built up super hard and just completely ruin your brush um i used to make that mistake when i was like first starting and these brushes are not cheap you know they're like run from like anywhere from 30 to 50 dollars so you definitely want to make sure you're you're taking care of it because it, it is like an investment the last thing you want to do is keep ruining them so cleaning them is very very important um, and maybe I'll make a video for you guys. Let me know, comment down below if you guys do want a video on that. Um, I'll just go ahead and let you guys watch the clear application and kind of how I file. I feel like the filing is also self-explanatory, but for the clear application, I'm just making sure I build a little bit of thickness and that I'm building my apex is the most important thing so that my nails won't break.
going right into the nail art, I'm actually using a dotting tool. I think I got this from Sheen like super, super long ago. It's still here, so um, just using that to get a really good circle. I like to use dotting tools when it comes to making like really small circles, really like eyes or something like that, just because it makes it a lot easier to do versus with a brush. So I'm going in and I'm creating that a smiley face basically and I'm putting these dots to make like a teardrop drip effect so once I'm done with these dots I will go in with a little liner brush and I believe I'm using the Nails by Dev 9mm liner brush if you guys don't have this definitely get it I love it I use it for like all of my art and small detail work um, but I'm just kind of using the product that's in the circles and dragging it up because Naturally, teardrops are like thick circles at the bottom and they get thinner towards the top. So that's the kind of effect that you want to go for. And I'm just using that brush to bring that product in and like skinnier closer to the smiley face, if you guys can see that. So that's a good tip as well to um, creating like any teardrops or like melting effects is use a dotting tool and then use a brush to just kind of like drag that up. So right here I'm going in and I'm making mushrooms and the way that I have been doing my nail art so far like I haven't been doing crazy designs but I, I kind of wanted to get into it so my last video if you guys check it out I did Melody my Melody and um Kuromi nail art so if you guys want to check that out that would be awesome I love doing that one too but I'm definitely learning that like my style is to kind of just like draw the outline first in white and then go in with like a little bit of shading and outlining in coloring it in and then <laughs> shading again and it might be a lot of work but that's just like I don't know that's how my brain works that's what works for me so um that's definitely what I'm doing right here is I'm kind of just outlining everything in white and the reason I'm doing it in white too specifically on this black is so that the colors will pop if I went in straight with the colors like they just wouldn't pop as much so the white will help um if you go over any dark colors it'll help your colors really pop so one little tidbit that I learned along the way of doing nail art is that the more firm pressure you put on the brush when you're doing the line work, the thicker the line is going to be, the lighter the pressure you use, the thinner your line is going to be. So go ahead and, you know, when you're doing Frenchies or just practicing, practice that method so you can get used to seeing where your firmness lies and where the thickness of the line aligns, you know, practice your pressure so you can practice your like thickness of your lines and then another tip I would suggest is definitely learning the color wheel and familiarizing yourself with the color wheel and what colors um, make what's more specifically with like primary colors so one instance where co learning the color wheel really really helps out is when for example my press-ons when clients request a color that I don't specifically have learning the color wheel really helps me to make that exact color because you know, you can make a color light or darker, obviously, by adding black or white, but when you start to add, like, if you need the color to be warmer or you need to balance out the coolness of a color, you're going to have to use, like, a red and a blue and a yellow, you know, specifically the primary colors to um, help you out with that. And I can definitely make a video on that. Um, just let me know if you guys like to see that but yeah definitely you know learning the color wheel learning the thickness and pressure of not only your acrylic brush but your art brushes too um, and learning how to load up your brush properly with products um, so your your nail art will be as clean as possible
tell me right now. <laughs> I, I do, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. I do. I do definitely believe that like there's some type of like other different type of life form. You know, the universe is so big. Like there's no possible way that it's just humans. Um, and then especially if you guys have like been keeping up with the news, they've been releasing like footage of UFOs and like openly admitting that there have been like instances with that. So definitely read up on that. And in college, I took this geology class and NASA, during the time we were taking the class, NASA came out with a documentation about how it's possible that there was water on Mars a, you know, a few billion years ago. And wherever there's water, there's life. Think about that. right now which is Jenny's nail room taco um, use code me15 to save some money and she is always running sales and she, her I'm a brand ambassador for her store and she's like a purple nail supply store and 
I love it. I love it. Go ahead and check her out. Her products are really, really good. I, my favorite products have to be like her nail tips are really good, her taco, and then her glue is really, really awesome. Like it dries, it dries down super fast. It's not like too watery or runny. Like the KDS glue can kind of get watery and runny. Um, so definitely go check those out. Those are like my favorite. Also, her like nail clippers are super sturdy. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna finish off with some taco. You can also do matte if you want to. Just make sure you like wipe your nail art off with an alcohol wipe or something like that before you go with the matte top coat because the matte top coat can kind of smear um, nail art if you don't take off like that tacky inhibition layer. But anyways, let me know what you guys think of the nails. I enjoyed doing them so much. Like I had so much fun. Let me know if you guys want to see more specific nail art. Definitely make requests and um, go ahead and make sure to check out my next videos. Comment, like, subscribe. Thank you so much and I will definitely see you guys in the next one. Bye!